it's, it's really a three-step process. In the first step, we work with a high-quality content provider, uh, let's say uh, International Music Feed, IMF, which uh, is a pro provider of music videos. International Music Feed will join MBBC and they'll make their content available through our marketplace. And when they do, they're going to find great publishers, distributors, like let's say Vibe.com, which is a, a brand within Vibe Media, which also includes brands like Vibe Magazine, and they'll make their content available to Vibe through the NBBC. And on top of that connection, we will place an advertisement. Uh, let's say it's uh, J.P. Morgan Chase, who's one of our charter partners, charter advertisers. They will run a pre-roll in front of the video uh, one out of every two, one out of every three times when that IMF video runs on Vibe.com. So it's a three-step process. It's the content owner, it's the distributor, and it's the advertiser. And we're trying to make it as contextual as possible and to make it a really positive consumer experience for that user of Vibe.com. MBBC is really a connector. Uh, we are a connector uh, between uh, content owners and distribution providers. So right now, as we, as we look across the web, we, we all recognize that we can create great content, but to get a really large audience to see it on our own size, sites is relatively difficult, it's relatively expensive, it takes a long, a long time to build up a consumer brand. Even when you build up a consumer brand, let's say I can build up a site with 30 million uniques, well then I'm one of the largest websites in the world, yet the U.S. population online is approximately 200 million uniques. So I'm still missing out on the vast majority of the audience. So what we're doing here is something a little bit different. We're connecting that, that high quality content owner with high quality distributors. And a high quality distributor can be anything from a large site like or portal like Yahoo or AOL down to blogs and, and, and other uh, providers of, of, uh, of distribution who are who's looking for great content. In, in many ways it is. Uh, it's, a, it's a good question as to uh, whether this might be scary and, and, and what the, uh, the impediments are for a larger content owner, a larger broadcaster to actually embrace some of the, 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 new, uh, the new business practices of the web. And the good news for us here at NBC Universal is that my boss, Jay Ireland, who's the president of the TV stations group, as well as uh, Jay's boss, uh, uh, Randy Falco, is the president of NBC, uh, have really jumped into this model, this, this, this new internet model, this new digital model, which is NBBC. Uh, there are a couple main practices to it. One is uh, video should be available as a, as a free, as supported model, as well as a pay model. So we think it's smart to work with an iTunes and to pay for downloads, et cetera, but it's also great to get your video out there and to make it free. And the second piece that, that Randy and Jay knew and, and, and my partner Mike Stive and I both recognized as well, it's not only should it be free, but you need to reach the consumer wherever they are. So what NBC is doing with NBBC and making available to our other content partners is saying, okay, we're going to make the video free. And second, we're going to put it out on as many websites as possible who can carry this content and put it within quality context. And that's really what NBBC is all about. It's connecting great quality content with high quality context inventory on the, on the publisher side. This is actually a, a video player that we uh, built and skinned for a friend of ours, uh, Fred Wilson, who is a VC at Union, Union Square Ventures and has a, a site called AVC, his own blog. And uh, Fred told us he, he liked clips from uh, Saturday Night Live as well as The Office, so we loaded it up with some stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so, so for instance, if you, if you look at the player, this is a, a flash build player. Uh, we streamed the video at 500K and uh, we believe it has a lot of the really interesting technology that you might see in, in different environments. So for instance, here's the, uh, the chopping broccoli skit from uh, Saturday Night Live. So you can uh, see it's a relatively fast loading time. Uh, the player, for instance, also has a great search capability. So let's say I'm looking for The Office. Clips from The Office, I can search for The Office. And here's a whole bunch of clips from The Office. And here's an interview, for instance, with uh, Steve Carell. Now, in this case, when I play the video here, I still actually have my chopping broccoli skit going on uh, until this begins. And you still have all your list of The Office clips. When you find the one that you actually want and you're sure it's what you want to watch, then you go up here and you clip close. And then it breaks back into uh, full form. So we think it's actually a pretty interesting player. You can also put this into, uh, into full screen.
which is pretty interesting as well, which gives you a, a slightly better experience as, as you want to watch uh, longer form content such as 30 minute shows, etc. And we think that this is pretty cool. So if you want to go back to playlists, for instance, to see what you have, you can look through. And uh, again, the load time is pretty fast. Uh, here's another clip from the office behind the scenes with uh, our favorite character here at MBBC, Dwight Schrute. So as you can see, NBC is bringing in a lot of their great video content and we're providing great video from third parties as well. Let's see what else we have in here. We could search and and there's something about superheroes, it's actually pretty good. Actually, the day one, the model is to uh, make the player look exactly like the environment in which it plays, which is the distribution partner. So if our partner is uh, CNET, or if it's about.com, or if it's AVC, which is Fred's blog, we will make the player have that look and feel of the environment in which it plays, the website. Uh, down the road, we are looking at different models that will uh, include social networking type functionality, so you can do what we call snag and tag, which is snag the video from the site and place it somewhere else. We are also looking at potential consumer models in which we might allow somebody to place the video in a video player on their own desktop and they can make it look however they like through our skinning mechanism which is all totally automated. This is, this is the dream for a lot of content providers, a lot of content owners. Your stuff can go through an NBC uh, broadcast network, which we're calling NBBC. You can work with a whole host of different distributors, uh, anybody from one of the NBC sites like NBC.com or iVillage to other quality providers, both uh, large and small. And that's what we're really excited about. It's about matching great quality content with great quality inventory and just watching the magic, uh, magic happen.